Hello everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and today I wanted to show you a rabbit so there he is so he's actually billed as a hare but rabbit hare same kind of thing isn't it so there he is okay so I acquired a book which is Knitted Animal Friends and there we go that's the book and as you can see we've got some wonderful animals in this one so we've got mouse, fox, dog, cat, the rabbit or the hare, uh, we've got duck, uh, horse, pig, hedgehog, there's a few of them there that you can see there you go so this book is by Louise Crowther and uh, it's really interesting and all of the animals have little clothes to wear. So if we have a look at, we've got an owl there, let's just find the owl and he's got, uh, he's got a snazzy outfit on, if I can find it. <laughs> there he is. So there's the owl in his jeans and his boots. There you go. So really interesting. Um, some of the little um, abbreviations are quite strange. They're new to me. So uh, I've had to look at those and think about how to get how to do those and get around those. But um, otherwise than that, I mean, it's a lovely book. Fantastic animals in it. Really interesting, really different um, and great detail in the clothing great care taken and great detail in the clothing um explained nicely um nice to use for me the downsides of this book are they're all knitted in four ply i hate four ply but that's just personal it's like knitting with cotton isn't it but i don't like such tiny thin wool so what I've done with my rabbit is I've adapted him to some double knitting wool. So um, I think I went down the needles a size and, uh, and used a thicker wool, which for me, it's worked quite well. I'm sure he's come out quite a bit bigger than he's meant to, but proportionately he's worked out fine. So, um, so it still works, you can do it that way. I just don't like four ply, knitting with four ply. But if you are a fan of four ply, fantastic. Um, the second downside for me is that all the little clothes are knitted on in the round and I have no clue. I'm just a traditional knitter and I have no clue how to knit in the round. So I'm going to have to learn. So uh, I'll be watching some videos on that and see if I can learn. So when I've made his clothes, I'll put him back on again so you can have a look at the clothing and uh, and see what you think but um the outfits are all adaptable so you can make him a girl or a boy he can have a dress he can have trousers he can have shorts he can have jumpers there's there's loads of clothes there's boots there's sandals there's ballerina shoes there's everything in here so um so you can really make your little animal individual and to suit the child that uh, you're making him for i just put a bow around his neck just to uh, just to show him off today but um you know once he's got his clothing i'll pop him back on so that you can have a look and see what you think of that and um, putting him together wasn't too bad um it's invisible you put him together the invisible stitching and i don't know what you think you can see it but it's not blatantly obvious is it is it a little bit more on the head it's not too bad as i'm you know i'm not uh, not too well rehearsed in invisible knitting invisible stitching but uh, but yeah, he's worked out quite well actually, I think. So uh, so yes, we're pretty pleased with our first attempt, and uh, hopefully it'll only get better from there. So uh, so there he is, the rabbit or the hare. You want to call him a hare? And uh, I'll put him back on and show you again when he's got some clothes. So uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>